here is a question that many people believe is it God's will for my loved one to be saved or is it that my loved one will die without accepting Christ because no matter how many years I've been praying I do not find result why Lord is my loved one not receiving you as my Lord as your Lord God and Savior I've been praying and praying and praying and I don't find result now let's see what God has to say about this are you with me yes. okay 1 Timothy 2 11 I exhort you therefore that first of all supplication prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men so God's desire is that we make intercession we pray giving thanks and we make all this prayer for all men praise God all men includes all women now for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty in other words he's saying when you make that prayer of faith that prayer of faith has so much of power even those who are in authority in the physical kingdom praise God they will begin to rule in a way that is pleasing to God and there will be peace and godliness all around then he's saying for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior who wills who will have all men to be saved now question is it God's will that every man should be saved yes. come on yes. then why is all men not being saved If it is God's will that every person on this planet earth should accept Jesus as his Lord God and Savior, then why is it that all men are not receiving Jesus? Now tell me one thing, if a person understands that by making Jesus the Lord of his life, heaven becomes his eternal home, he doesn't even have to sweat for it, it, it is a gift from God that you will live for all eternity in heaven all your sins and consequences of sin are dealt by the blood of Jesus the, uh, the payment has been paid then why is it that people refuse to accept such a powerful gift the greatest gift a person can experience in this world is making Jesus the Lord of his life then why come how come people do not are not ready to accept this invitation this gift which is absolutely free you don't have to sweat for it God gives you to you free why the answer is this 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 he says if a gospel is hid it is only hid to them that are lost how they are lost these are the people in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe it not can there be anybody like me I want to ask you okay even though I was born in a Christian family in a Catholic family I never had a desire much for God I never had a desire to live according to the word of God I had a desire to live according to the world system. I never had a desire to pray. Never had a desire to go to church. Nobody like me? Yes. Praise God. Nobody like me? So from the time you were born, you were always having the desire of God, huh? <laughs> I'm asking you. You, you always desire to do things according to the word of God all the time you were longing for more and more of the word come on I'm asking you did you have that why didn't you have that did we have the desire I don't know about you but even when just to please my wife I would go to church that mass of one hour would be like ten hours And when the rosary would start, the yawning would start. The whole day I would not get yawning, but the moment the Hail Mary would start, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. 
Nobody like me? Hello, nobody like me? And might be there was a time when somebody told you to come for prayer and everybody was screaming with their hands lifted, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you must have said, is God deaf? <laughs> Why are they screaming? Come on, so many things were there. Right? Now how come you got changed? How come today, after this long day's work, you are coming and sitting to a lecture and a person will be speaking for two hours and you are still sitting on that seat and you are saying, speak more. How come the change? How come the change? Because in those days, we were born in blindness. We were born in slavery. We were born in the kingdom of darkness. And that's what he says. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. There is a veil that the enemy has put upon our mind. That we will always be rebellious to God. But praise be to God, this veil can be removed. And the only way this veil can be removed, can somebody tell me how the veil is removed? Please read this. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, when a person shall turn to the Lord, the... the... Now, now, every one of us had a veil because we are born with a veil. There comes a time when you did not want to come for the retreat or anything, but there was a crisis. Okay? And in that crisis, you were going deeper and deeper in a pit and somebody said, hey, why don't you just try? And you came for the meeting. And the person was preaching the gospel and the Spirit of God was talking to you. And when the word was being preached, you began to realize that you have been going on the wrong side, things that are displeasing to God, and you made a decision that, Lord, I'm ready to turn over my life to you. I'm ready to repent. I'm ready to change my life. I'm ready to do what your word says. The moment that person made that decision, praise be to God, the veil is removed. So once that veil is removed, now Satan has no power over you. Now you begin to see things that you never thought saw before. Do you remember in those days when you used to read the Bible, it was just like a storybook. You could not understand things. And you began to wonder, I read the Bible every day but nothing, I don't understand anything. But now when the veil is removed, even one scripture, you are holding on, you are, you are taking the juice out of it and you are seeing so many beautiful things hidden in that scripture. Why? The veil is removed. Hallelujah. Now, now, when you understand the scripture, tell me, is it God's will for your loved one to be saved? One. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Now that you know that it is God's will for your loved one to be saved, then where is the real problem? Is it with your loved one or the veil that is blinded is mine? The whale that is blinded is mine. So, who is the real culprit? Your loved one or the spirit that is blinding his mind? The spirit that is blinding his mind. So, whom do you need to fight with? Your loved one or the spirit that is blinding his mind? Nobody is talking. Whom are you fighting with? Really? Hello, really? Okay, let's put it this way. Any married people? Married people. You got married and you had no knowledge of the word of God. Is it possible? That also they are not talking here. Come on, is it possible? Okay. 
you got married you had no knowledge of the word of god you are spiritually blinded now what kind of decisions did you take you did you take decisions on the word of god or on the flesh on the flesh both the spouses are in the flesh now is there going to be love joy and peace in that relationship or crisis crisis now there comes a time when they both are arguing and they don't even want to see each other's face okay now the same couple goes for the retreat the spiritual blindness is gone okay now they begin to realize the truth they begin to renew their mind praise god now after the process of renewing their mind is their relationship going to be the same of fighting or is it going to turn into love that they have never experienced before are you understand what i'm saying as long as that blindness is there that relationship can never be a relationship of love joy and peace because there are two different uh, spirits operating and both of them on the opposite side and when such thing happens un out of ignorance we keep fighting with a loud one instead of fighting with the spirit <coughs> have you ever opened your mouth when you were annoyed with your spouse and when you opened your mouth when you were annoyed how much of the word of god came out of your mouth <laughs> did the relationship become better or did it become bitter are you, are you understanding what i'm saying so please understand your war with your loved one is not with your loved one but with the spirit operating in your loved one once you understand that you are no longer going to fight with your loved one but you will always want to fight and you are always declaring a war with that spirit taking the example of nisha praise god a spirit would all the time irritate her to give back now did she use the word of god question is the word of god spirit think about it before you speak is the word of god a spirit i asked you again is the word of god spirit how do you say that because jesus said my word is spirit and my word is life so is the word of god spirit yes so when you use the word of god the spirit of god is with you now will this spirit of god attack that spirit that is of the flesh so the more and more she kept on speaking that word to herself what is actually happening the word of god who is spirit is destroying that spirit of flesh which has been captivating a mind for so many years and now she is set free from that area and she begins to realize i do not understand a person who would give back is now holding peace and cheerful and blessing and she said these words i i heard what she said she said now even if i am sleeping at night and somebody has to do something even in my dream i will say oh god works all things together for good <laughs> why because the spirit of god the word of god who is spirit has taken over the whole mind in that particular area of her life did you get that so is it going to be labor is it going to take labor yes but what are we saying all the time holy spirit please deliver me listen holy spirit can deliver you through his word when you feed yourself with the word of god more and more and more the word of his spirit will deliver you but you know what you are saying don't tell me to memorize the word don't tell me to speak the word come on god do something and get me free he says i can't do that because unless the seed is planted the harvest won't come when it comes to natural um natural circumstances we believe a farmer has to sow the seed and then only the crop can come but when it comes to spiritual life we we the farmers the christians we say lord i'm not going to sow the seed but you work it around and bring me the harvest it won't work hallelujah thank you jesus 
so the word of god in ephesians 6:12 says put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle say the wrestle so whether you like it or not every one of us are wrestling and it's a freestyle wrestling there are no rules that and the opponent is the devil he wants to destroy you and the wrestling is all in your mind if he can get your thoughts contradicting to god's word he has changed your destination he has changed your future he has messed up your future my friend every moment the bible is saying you must be so alert to check out every thought of your life because your thought is the one who can lead you to profit and your thought is the one that can lead you into destruction so your wrestling is going to be what thoughts are you going to hold on and once again let's take the example of nisha how did she get the thoughts of not giving back by speaking the word so praise god by speaking the word of god out of your mouth continuously can you wrestle against every thought yes can you bring every thought into captivity yes can you have victory over every negative thought yes is it going to change your destination yes is it going to make your life beautiful yes are you getting the formula is it interesting yes and let me tell you this is a topic that we use every day of our life and praise god instead of we becoming offensive i'm not talking about the offense the negative reaction uh, instead of being defensive we got to be offensive christians are supposed to be offensive that's why jesus said the kingdom of god has to be taken by force and only the violent take it by force unless you are violent you cannot take it by force violent in what violent in not speaking words to others or in action but violent in speaking the word of god to yourself and bringing every thought into captivity if you are able to control your thoughts and bring it into captivity any thought that is contradicting to god's word praise be to god you are victorious every day of your life if you have lost battles you have lost your battles in your mind you entertain negative mis um, uh, depressing thoughts in your mind you are already defeated so how much can you keep on feeding yourself every day with the word of god and captivate every hurt feeling every negative emotion with the word of god and once you do that praise be to god your life will be awesome father we thank you for your word and we thank you lord that you are teaching us through our everyday example lord your word declares that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but so many times oh lord with our loved ones we are always wrestling with words that are hurting teachers of mighty god and let this truth be remembered all the time that it is your will that every person on this planet earth be saved lord it is your will and even though it is your will these things are not happening because the god of this world has blinded the minds of those who believe it not father we thank you that you have transferred us into the kingdom of your son jesus and this transfer has not taken place because of our merit so lord but because somebody prayed for us and that veil was removed somebody prayed for us and that blindness was cast out somebody prayed for us so that the light could be seen through and we made jesus the lord of our life somebody prayed us or prayed for us oh lord that we could see things that we had never seen before somebody prayed for us oh lord so that satan had no more power over us and he was defeated oh lord just as somebody prayed for our salvation because of which today we have received your son jesus as a lord god and savior lord you are sharing with us that it is our responsibility from now on to pray for more and more souls around the world 
so that by the supplication and intercession and prayers the gospel preached will be received by these people and their lives will be transferred their citizenship will be transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light thank you for showing us O Lord that we are so precious to you and our prayers has the power to transfer the souls tonight O Lord as we go back we make this decision to ponder on this truth and from now on not to waste a single day without praying for the lost thank you and praise you father for showing us these truths for showing us O Lord that you have given us abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness that we can reign in life through our Lord Jesus Christ we thank you we praise you Lord for opening our spiritual blindness and giving us your light thank you and praise you father in Jesus name can we give the Lord a big hand of praise <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah come on let's say father, father I come before you come on let's say it together father I come before you in prayer and in faith believing your word says that you desire all men to be saved and come into the knowledge of the truth so I bring hold on hold on take your take the names of those people um, that you want them to be saved father so I bring all these people before you this day I break the power of Satan from his assignment and activities in all these people's life in the name of Jesus now please put the name okay don't just say all these people please put the names okay now while he is bound I ask you to send forth the perfect laborer to share the good news of the gospel in such a way that my loved one will listen and understand it as the truth is ministered I believe that Tash will open his or her eyes to the gospel and come out of the snares of the devil and make Jesus Lord father I ask you that you fill all these people with in all wisdom and spiritual understanding as I intercede in his or her behalf I believe that the power of the Holy Spirit is activated and from this moment on I shall praise and thank you for their salvation I am confident that you are alert and active watching over your word to perform it it will not return to you void it will accomplish that which pleases you and prospers in the things wherein it was sent therefore my confession of faith is God has begun a good work in my loved one's life and he will perform it and bring it to full completion until the day of Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen so again that scripture God has set you in your family for what to bring out those that are bound with chain this prayer of yours will break the chains that are binding your loved one and your loved one will be set free praise the Lord can we just close eyes can you please talk to the Lord might be you're going through some situation and every physical evidence is bringing worry and anxiety and fear in you can you thank the Lord that he has given you the power and authority and you are believing in that power and authority and you are speaking the word of faith the word of prophecy will make that mountain move from your life 
father in the name of jesus i pray for all these wonderful people gathered here lord i pray for that deeper intimate relationship with you a relationship of love a relationship of trust a relationship of faithfulness a relationship of obedience father in the name of jesus i thank you that you are intervening in each one's life right now oh lord by the power of your spirit you have destroyed every captivity you have destroyed every sickness and disease you have destroyed every work of the devil and you have set your people free thank you lord that again and again you make us understand your holy word and your holy word dwelling in us changes our direction and our destiny thank you so much oh lord for your mighty power working within us your mighty power destroying every stronghold of sin the very things that we hate to do but we end up doing all those areas oh lord we thank you that you are destroying the harvest of those areas the bondages the curses and you have set each one of us free father we choose to believe your word and as we believe so shall we see we thank you for this deep thirst that you have given us for the word of god and today lord as your loved ones are making that decision to use this prayer on a daily basis to pray for their loved ones and especially those who are walking in darkness lord we as ambassadors of christ we as soldiers in your army taking this word declare a war against the kingdom of darkness and we transfer souls from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light thank you lord for giving each one of us this ministry thank you lord that you have anointed each one of us with this mission thank you father that each one of us will see your manifesting glory as we use our tongue every day to speak your word we thank you and we praise you lord in jesus name amen